Go on, Violet, play the Big Bang thing. OK. Computers are deeply, deeply stupid. Before they can do anything, they need to be given a programme. This is the strange but true story of Ada Lovelace, the first woman to program a computer. The 1830s, the dawn of the Industrial Age. Hello, Lady Augusta Ada Byron, Countess of Lovelace. How charming it is to meet you. Yes, it is. Ada was the daughter of the romantic poet Lord Byron, but she wasn't exactly the soppy girl you might expect. Ada was brought up to be the perfect society girl, but her first love was maths. Stuff the dolls. I want maths. I want geometry and calculus and algebra. Ada was determined to prove wrong all those people who believe that women shouldn't waste too much time on mathematics. She was particularly interested in how maths and practical science could improve the world. So much so that by the time she was 13, she'd invented a flying machine. Look! It flies! Ada's big break came when she met this man, Charles Babbage. He'd got grand plans for a computing machine that would do all kinds of complex calculations. Uh, now, the instructions for the machine are written as holes punched in this card, but the actual calculations are done, and you don't need to worry about this, by a rather complicated piece of technology. Babbage's machine was the same idea as a modern computer, but with cogs and gears doing the work instead of electronic chips. Oh, but Mr Babbage, your reverse Grohl sprocket is out of phase with the secondary expansion coil. I mean, how are you going to sort that out? And um, how about this bit over here, the D-clutch accelerator, is complete, it's all wrong. <laughs> Perhaps I could take it away to study it further. <laughs> Thank you. Babbage's plan was incredibly ambitious, and most people didn't think it would work. But Ada understood how important the idea was, and set out to help. She wrote a set of notes which described how the machine would work and, above all, how it would be given instructions. You could say it was the first computer programming manual. Ah, Mr Babbage, I believe this machine of yours is very, very stupid. You have to give it instructions for every simple task. Nevertheless, I do believe it might be of some use to astronomers and engineers. The ideas that Ada explained, such as comparing numbers and repeating instructions, are exactly the same as you find in modern-day computing. Ada was way ahead of her time. Sadly, neither Ada nor Babbage lived to see their machine built. But a few years ago, London Science Museum constructed one from the original plans. And it worked. If Babbage had managed to build his analytical engine, it would have read instructions and followed them just like a modern computer. So Ada was right all along. She programmed a computer like this 150 years before it was even built. 